Shopping for lathe, people have lots of different uh, ideas, new lathes, old lathes. I bought both of these ones new. Why did I choose these ones? What were the two big things that I think are really critical? Uh, number one for a working lathe is RPM. And I don't mean high RPM, low RPM. In a job shop machine low, this one goes down to 11.2 RPM. Um, put an inverter on it, we could go slower yet. I've got, actually bought inverters for them but haven't wired them because I always get ahead of the projects we can actually get done. So anyway, that is critical if you are in a working shop that does stuff and not just a hobby shop. Low RPM. Some reason you're going to have to go slower than you would ever think possible. And I have used that a couple of times on uh, one of the things was uh, turning some ink and parts. Um, it was chewing up part, uh, tooling pretty quick already, and uh, I used it all the way down on that a couple other times, but it's there. The other thing is, pick a given size lathe. If you are not looking for one so you can easily put it in the corner of your garage, use it twice a year, you want the one that's going to hold up the best, be the least vibration when you're running it. The whole key is, what's the weight? This had for, for a 20 by 80 inch lathe, this had the highest shipping weight of any of them. They won't give you the actual net weight of just the machine, so you gotta go by shipping weight, but it was 2,000 pounds heavier than any other machine at the time I bought it. And it was, I think it was 8,800 pounds. And at the time, the others were six, four something, five something. Um, Seems kind of light to me now. Some of the old ones, the old Monarchs actually weigh more than that. But then you get an old Monarch and there's no spindle hole. Today's world, you got to have a hole in your spindle. You got to have something. Something more than an inch and a half in the Monarchs. Monarchs are great. I, oh, good, good machines. But they just didn't get a chance to grow up enough. 